So in this video, we're going to quickly go over the argument using a total derivative for why the marginal rate of substitution, the slope of that indifference curve, is equal to this ratio of marginal utilities. Okay, And we're going to start by saying our utility function looks like this. Okay, We fix it at some level u bar, and that now is an equation for our indifference curve. Okay, it's all the combinations of food and shelter that give us U bar utility. That's the amount of utility. We take the total derivative, which means that we take the derivative of all the inputs, multiply them by a small change in output, and we add them together, and that should tell us how much the total, like uh, the thing on the left, moves. Okay, but in our case, utility can't move at all. That's the definition of an indifference curve. So if we take the derivative with respect to f and multiply it by a small change in f and add to that what happens to utility when we make a small change in s and multiply it by a small change in s they actually have to equal zero they have to offset each other okay so let's rearrange this a little bit I gotta which one do I want here on top so I'm looking to find df ds so let's subtract this from both sides and now let's notice that this here is equal to the marginal utility of food this here is equal to the marginal utility of shelter and so we can rewrite this as and now we divide both sides by ds divide both sides by muf and we'll take the negative of each side too these cancel these cancel these cancel and we get and we end up with the marginal or you know the slope of this indifference curve is equal to the negative marginal utility of food divided by the marginal utility of shelter nope i wrote it backwards shelter over food you can see because we've got S on top over here and we're dividing by MUF. So, uh, again, the way to remember, uh, you gotta draw a diagram, but if F is on top on one side, it's gonna be on bottom on the other side and vice versa.